I came to Chad in the expectation to see the conditions of the Darfuri refugees in the East. There are some 300,000 of them there, uh, been there since uh, nearly 10 years. And uh, to draw the world's attention to their condition, the need for help to them, and to tackling the underlying causes as to why they still remain in the desert. But uh, when I got here, my permission to travel east, which is about a thousand kilometers from here in Jumeirah, uh, was suddenly withdrawn at short notice. And uh, so I have been marooned here in the capital, uh, almost imprisoned, uh, and not permitted uh, to go and uh, see the refugees for myself. Not only that, uh, I have been uh, told that uh, I must uh, leave the country as soon as possible. So I'm leaving earlier than I was planning to. In essence, I have been expelled by the authorities. And the real causes appear to be some kind of political pressure, uh, possibly from the Sudan uh, government, that might have tipped off the Chadian authorities that because I was the person, the former UN chief in the Sudan, who blew the whistle on the Darfur genocide and blamed the government of Sudan of President al-Bashir at that time, that my presence here uh, uh, might be too sensitive. When uh, the Darfuri refugees heard through the grapevine that I was unable to see them in their own uh, households in these camps, the community decided that they would still like to speak to me. So this uh, brave uh, lady from uh, Gaga camp volunteered to drive a thousand burning kilometers across uh, the country to try and get to me. So at least we could have a few minutes together so that I could hear at first hand the ongoing suffering of uh, her brothers and sisters and uh, hear what the situation was on the ground as well as what was going on in Darfur. I am very sorry that uh, I will miss uh, talking to you face to face, but thank you for uh, coming over to see me. Uh, tell me uh, what has been happening to you and how is uh, life in the camp that you are in? So what would you like uh, the international community, the world to do Thank you very much indeed for uh, talking to me. I wanted to say to you that uh, it may sometimes feel lonely and you may feel alone and forgotten, but uh, there are many people around the world uh, thinking of what has happened to the Darfuri people. Please do not lose hope. Uh, it is brave, courageous people like you the women and leaders of uh, the refugee community in which uh, there is hope that one day peace and justice will happen and you will be able to return to your homes. <laughs> يعني هو مشاكل هو صهير يعني كونه لا يجي عندي مشكلة تعرف ردك إذا كارجي هو من التفسيرات توجه كده تفسيرات كده بسكوا استفيدين أكديجنا كده نفسيني بركة رم موافقة التفسير سودان وغربي التفسير تيجي جنعه 
لانه او اوتو كان برضو بي على خط جري باقي سان كجرج لا قد الطرفر ده لسه ما انتهى قد الطرفر لو انتهى كان هنا هو كده ارتحنا وبدري في جزء من الناس يرجع لكن قد الطرفر ده لسه ما يتحلى بيتحلى بياتو طريق المجرمين ما يتحكم والناس اللي بقتلوا لا يوم على الليله قاعدين بقتلوا والاغتصاب جاري وطبعا زول ما تقدر المسافه انه 5 كيلو تطلع ترى احنا لو ما قاعدين في السودان ذاته قاعدين نسمع لازم لو كلنا ما جينا ذاته في بعض مننا اسر واهل بكون قاعدين في السودان بيتكلموا يومي زول لا هسي ساوكت من السوق طلعت ما تقدر توصل بيتك وكتالوج ما في زول يسالك ده هو انت ميت يرفق يصرخ مع السلامه حكومه ما قاعده يتابع وذاته ما معاه وهو مجرم الكبير ومجرم الحرب ده كلهم لو ما يتحكموا دارفور امر الامر ما يصلح الا يتحكم وزي ما قتل هو قتل اخواننا وعمامنا وازواجنا واولادنا يقتلوا نفس الصوره. آه خلاص عالم غير سكو يعني يقولوا مش لكن هي لقينا تكي باي طريقه لانه اي ما راح يسيق المسجنار انه اخواننا باقي نفس الصوره اي انه يرجع. <تصفيق> clear and uncompromising, honest but determined, made me realize that uh, the struggle is worth going on with and it is our duty to support them. So I feel uh, very encouraged uh, by and, uh, and uh, my spirits lifted on talking to her and I just wish it had been more face-to-face uh, -face, and I hope one day I might be able to do that and others, uh, others like her. I feel even more angry at the people that are forcing us, forcing me to leave uh, in this uh, manner and I do not know what they're trying to achieve. If they think that by not letting me go to the camps, not letting me uh, stay long enough to be able to talk to some of the refugees, uh, they can silence the voices of those who have been hurt by this, then they are either very stupid or, and certainly they are very mistaken. It'll take much more than this to stop the voices being heard.